I think rethinking has to be part, but even has to be at the core of the innovation process. And um, in the past, companies or when they were uh, innovating, they, they really saw sustainability as a box to check, whereas now, like, systems are shifting and uh, sustainability and circularity really have to be at the core of the innovation process. So this kind of decisions, they, they, they involved a lot of changes, a lot of investments, so a lot of time, a lot of money. Um, um, that's one part, but um, it also most of the time involves a lot of stakeholders because, yeah, changing the packaging, it's not only one person that will change something, it's just the whole system that has to change. And for that, uh, using design approaches uh, uh, can really or is really valuable. So really orchestrating the stakeholders, making sure that there is a shared vision by all the stakeholders that everyone is walking in the same direction and that there is a sense of ownership also for the stakeholders that they really uh, uh, feel that they own this project that it's it's their own project and they want to accomplish it so that's uh, that's very important it's uh, yeah it's also very important for a company to realize okay what's the value of not uh, of not taking this step in the long run like it might actually be more harmful from them for them not to uh, start incorporating this uh, rethinking in their innovation process right now, uh, considering that uh, legislations are going in the direction of circular economy. And yeah, there is at this point um, no reason not to do it, especially because also consumers are more and more aware of uh, of of. Uh, yeah, environmental uh, issues such as uh, yeah, the ocean, uh, the plastic in the oceans, uh, and they and they are really expecting uh, companies to make strong decisions and to rethink their uh, their packaging. So for example, uh, you have this yeah you have uh, the the uh, a water bottle and. Uh, you can think, okay, I want to make my uh, the plastic of my water bottle more sustainable. So you can, yeah, in in the best case, decide, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, recycled material or I'm gonna use bio-based material, let's say. But you can always also think, okay, how can we consume water in a way that there is no need for the packaging? And then you can, yeah, some people have invented. Uh, edible packaging. I'm thinking here of Ecover. They really started to design these bottles made of, uh, of recycled ocean plastic and that took really a lot of time, uh, but they, are, they were really um, willing to take all the steps to, to get to this bottle and they managed and I think now they are doing pretty well uh, on the market as well. There are also other elements to take into account. Uh, I'm thinking especially for food packaging, uh, conservation is is really uh, important um, because there is the environmental bur burden of packaging, but there are all, there is also the environmental burden of uh, of food wastes. Um, at the moment, I think the, the 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 figure is like roughly one third of all what's produced in the world is wasted, and packaging has really a role to play there to to try to to limit the, this food waste. So um, conservation, protection of products is really, uh, uh, is really something important to take into account. When rethinking the packaging for a circular economy, you also, of course, have to carefully think about the after use um, and uh, basically how uh, the systems of, uh, of, uh, of collection um, are going to be organized. They need to be uh, convenient, uh, but also unified for consumers. Still nowadays, people don't know how to recycle uh, or think they know how to recycle, but still, yeah, do a lot of things wrong just because, yeah, the systems really differ from uh, one city to another or not everything is clear. So 
uh, this really has to be designed so that it's really easy for consumers. Next to that, when rethinking packaging uh, and rethinking, yeah, um, circularity in packaging, I think companies really have to take a step back and look at the reasons why they so far decided not to rethink uh, their package. And uh, it's now well known that, for example, um, water, the, the um, bottled water industry, um, so, which is really an important industry when you know that a uh, that hundred million uh, millions bottles are sold every minute in the world, and that most of these bottle uh, bottles are just uh, made of virgin plastics. You really wonder, okay, why isn't it recycled, or why are aren't they using recycled material? And uh, part of the answer is that the brand image that uh, that's attached to to water is purity. And what you want to have as a packaging when you want to uh, be perceived as pure is a transparent and uh, shiny package. And it is clear that the industry is um, yeah, not so willing to start developing this uh, recycled bottle just because they are yeah, maybe afraid of the image that a less transparent uh, bottle or a less shiny bottle could... Uh, uh, could give. So um, they really have to think like, is it a real reason not to rethink packaging isn't there? Yeah, another way to make the, the, the packaging transparent or as transparent as it is. So really go into this uh, uh, kind of research and, and development. And yeah, are actually consumers uh, caring? Is it really important for them? If you explain or if you tell the story around uh, why the bolo is different, or what changed, and what are what are the reasons why they changed the the bolo? I think you even bring more value to the consumer. So, in, in that sense, that shouldn't be seen as a pro problem. <laughs>